What's going on guys, Darren Kane here, back for another Turtle the Breakers video. And in today's video, we're going to be showcasing the homie Den Day. So actually, I was uh, originally wrong when I first saw that uh, Den Day's heal. Uh, I originally thought it was a pass ability. It's actually an active skill where you can uh, go to a down survivor and literally heal them instantaneously. Now, I feel like if you do equip this active skill, you might as well just equip Dende's uh, passive skill, which uh, is Dragon Clan Healing. It restores an ally's barrier when you revive them. So not only can you revive somebody basically instantaneously, you'll be also uh, fully resing them, uh, making sure they don't actually even need a barrier, which would honestly uh, be really, really good against raiders that tend to camp. So like Nappas, especially that plant Cybermen down or even Freezes, right? So if you use a Senzu on a survivor, and have this passive skill equipped then um the survivor will be able to uh take one more hit before they get down and then let me heal you would uh, allow you to not even need a sensu right so we're gonna go ahead and uh go into a game and just see uh Dene's animations and see how good his skills are in a real game so we'll be right back once we find our raider Alrighty, so we're going to rocky field of course we have uh the gimme force as a raider i think i recognize booty taker um as a player so this is going to be interesting um, to go up against them. Um, normally when I showcase survivor skins, I don't really care about uh, winning or losing. It's all ju just about seeing the animations of the survivor skins and how useful. <laughs> seeing Dende land all confidently like that. Chad Dende, bro. Chad Day. Alright. So let's see. He has a gun? I don't know how I feel about that. I wish he kind of used like magic or something. Dende, Dende wheeling a Glock kind of feels odd, but... They did what they did. <laughs> but then again, I guess he would be holding a rocket launcher. But Dende is pretty small. He's probably one of the smallest survivor skins besides, like, uh, Oolong himself. All right. Let's see if we can grab anything at, uh, Orin's tower. Okay, I thought I was going to fall for a sec. Okay, power key radar, that's actually really good. Level 2 radar, that's very good. So we're going to be uh, on key duty this game. Alright. Try to grab this key. I need to get some cubes, man, because I don't even have my dragon change. Good thing I got my Dende claw. Okay. Dende's strapped up, man. Like, he, he didn't want to shoot Frieza because he wanted to give Goku his moment, but he was strapped up during uh, the Frieza saga. But when he was a kid, he couldn't handle the recoil. I um, I can't tell if this is Kid Dende or like, this is Kid Dende, right? This, like Team Dende would be a little taller, so this got this has to be Kid Dende. You be careful too, okay? That's why I'm literally smaller than a freaking civilian. <laughs> All right, so let me uh go find some keys. All right, so it looks like landing delay notification actually makes a sound when you activate it. You know what to do with that key. I'm just going to insert the key. We don't have to worry about that animation later. I'll grab the ball. Why not? Might as well. Plus, this guy's on it. He's on it. Do not need that. I'll keep the super soda. All right. Over along to C to find the key. Alright, we're about to find all the keys. Well, this guy's still gold, though. That's pretty good. Honestly, I feel like it's probably worth killing gold, though. Just because uh, the raider does auto-evolve. Whether time passes or the, the you know, evolution gauge just fills up, he will auto-evolve. So, like, let me grab my level 2. Why not? So as soon as someone gets down, hopefully someone gets down... <laughs> I thought we'll play that. Perfect. Oh, actually, a Senzu would be cool to see too. So I'll keep that. Might as well grab this charge too. Key. Right, he, he's got to be somewhere. Tell us the key. Like we could just plant one, why not? Got the keys over here. All civs are gone, damn. So the raiders are only gonna be able to evolve getting us. 
Prince. Place it now. We have all the Dragon Balls. Two, four. One of your allies needs some help. Someone else can take them. I'm, I'm, I'm on my support. My support vibes today. Okay, let's see uh, Dende's dodge. So Dende's dodge is some oh, okay. So he has the same animation as um, Yajirobe, uh, King Furry, and the farmer. Alright, so let's uh, get the resin here. I'm gonna wait actually. I'm just gonna wait for the raider to get some distance. Okay, I'm gonna drop my Senzu. Use this. Dude, that's instantaneous, and now he's fully healed. And I didn't even have to waste the Senzu. The cooldown is very long, though. 170 seconds, that, that is pretty long. But, but it's understandable, dude. Like, a, an instant heal, like, with no Senzu, that, that's actually really strong. I think this is probably one of the... It's hard to say if this skill is going to be meta. I think it is meta. It's just that... Are you realistically going to be having teammates that use this skill? I think if you're playing with friends, people will use it. But I feel like that's normally only going to be the case. Are we summoning right now? Which area is he destroying? He's destroying... Alright, so we just gotta uh, get E99, and then we can uh, plant B right after, and then we're really cooking. Looks like E used the, uh, the skill. Oh, we placed E? Nice. Wow, we got 20%. Yeah, this raider's gonna have a tough time. Alright, once I get my uh, grapple back, I think I'll go throw some hands. Super soda. A Goldo helped him there. Instant Kamameha. Okay, nice. Okay. Alright, once he leaves, we get him with the Senzu. Oh, shoot. He got me there. Uh oh. I think he's coming for me. Thank goodness. Oh, he found me. Damn. Did I drop my Senzu? Thank goodness. <clears throat> not sure if I dropped my Senzu or not. Maybe I dropped my Senzu. I try to revive Shin. I forgot to pick it up. Or maybe I'm just a dummy. Get up. Oh, yeah, look at this guy. Yeah. He's using it too. Yeah, that's pretty cracked. Alright, the only thing bad here is I've already get crappy supplies since he's a level 2. So this level 4 is going to have to carry hard. Are we only eating one container? Oh, we're getting two, but the other one isn't glowing for some reason. That was weird. I wonder if that's a bug. Alright. Once the raider gets some distance, I can try to res cats. Shoot. Okay, just for this area. That's awkward. Alright, let me just res cats quick. Those cats really quick. Yeah, he got him again, but at least he was rezzed. Might actually get cooked here. Let's drink. Okay. Right, we have a level four, so level four is gonna have to carry pretty hard here. This might be a super... Seems like with Ginyu, Super Time Machine is really how you're going to win these games. 
Just because you have to kill Ginyu to win, right? I do think Dende's healing is really good, though. Okay. Oh, we're beating him on. Maybe we gotta play Super Time Machine here, though. I think it's Troll if we just go for beatings. Kamehameha, nice. Have to play Super Time Machine here. He's destroying an area? Oh, he lost. He lost by destroying an area. All right. Um, I think Dende's passive is honestly really, really good. Uh, and is active because not only do you full heal, um, with Dende's passive, you can instant heal with Dende's active. So you can straight up just make a support build in the game now, which I think is great. Because I think that's one thing this game was really lacking, is that there was a lot of offensive abilities, but there wasn't really that many offensive... Um, sorry guys, it's like 6 a.m. There's a lot of offensive abilities and some defensive, but there wasn't many supportive skills. Like maybe like one or two, like World Champ's Daughter, I guess technically counted as a supportive skill. But the fact that we have, um, you know... An instant heal active skill and a full heal passive I think is really really great so I hope uh, they introduce uh, more uh, supportive skills in the game like this just because I think it just adds more variety more flavor to the game and it just it, it kind of makes your teammates make um, them not just want to be aggressive all the time right they'll actually like hopefully want to change their kits and not just be uber aggressive but typically I feel like with randoms it's going to be pretty rare to see people run this active skill, but who knows? Maybe they'll maybe they'll run it. Maybe they'll run it. I mean, I think it's a pretty solid one. If you don't have good active skills, I think Dende's uh, full heal is very, very good. Um, but yeah, that's the Dende Showcase. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of Dende's active skill, his passive skill, his animations. Um, I think his animations are fine. Um, it's a little shame that, you know, the dodge seems to be, like, universal for all the characters, and they gave him a gun. I don't know why he, I, don't know, I just feel like Dende would... It'd be better if you use magic, but it is what it is. Yeah, boys, if you want to see more showcases like these, uh, sub to Iron King, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.